How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys a tutorial on how to get Snartle in Yokai Watch 2 Bony Spirits and Fleshy Souls. Now that the Oni Evolution update is here, we can get this very, very awesome Yokai. Uh, 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 no, no, I'm not gonna do it. As much as I wanted to, I'm not gonna put my fingers in my nose for this tutorial. Alright, anyway, we're gonna show you everything you need to know about getting this elusive Yokai. So if you guys are excited for the tutorial, definitely smash that like button. So first things first, we have to know what he likes to eat, right? If you guys are new to Yokai Watch, you need to know exactly what their favorite food is so you have a better chance of befriending them. In this game, he likes snacks. Snoopy Snack is your best friend. That is the top tier food. Alternatively, if you don't have access to that, you can get the chips, you can get the nibbles, and of course you can get the potato chips as well. So you guys might be wondering, hey, where exactly do you get the very, very top tier snack item? Well, that's very simple. If you guys have ever played through the game, you may know of Frostina's Bar, or you may have come across Miss Frost somewhere. Well, we'll show you exactly where that's at. Now, it's pretty easy to miss if you guys aren't really taking your time exploring the overworld and having a fun time just soaking in all the detail that level five puts into their games. So of course, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna warp all the way down to downtown Springdale. The sports center works out. If you don't have the sports club built, then you can alternatively use the Springdale station. And that is gonna be fine. It's gonna get you in the same neck of the woods. You're gonna be all right. So if you guys remember from the main story mode, we needed to go over to the curry restaurant, right? And get a really, really hot pepper for Mr. Goodsight. If you remember that, then you remember the uh, general area. So of course, instead of going uh, right in front, we're gonna go behind, but it has to be at nighttime. That's why we went to bed. So since it's nighttime, we're over here and voila, the lovely Ms. Frost. Now Ms. Frost will offer you all sorts of snacks. Uh, of course, you got the snow pea snack, $3. That's super accessible, and that's very cheap for a top tier food item. Considering the fact we pay $180 for, what is that, marbled beef? Are you crazy, $3? Man, that's night and day. So anyway, now that we got our one snow pea snack, I'm gonna explain to you how Snartle works. All right, so if you guys are familiar with my channel and seen my other tutorial videos, you guys know that there are hard yokai to find, such as Scranny, looking like a granny. Grainpa, which is a yokai spot yokai that took me forever to find. Uh, but with that, what we need to do is we need to go to one of many, actually we can go to two places, two different places. Snartle spawns all over the map. He spawns in uh, Harrisville. He spawns at many different train stops. He spawns uh, inside the laundromat, inside the gymnasium. There's so many spots where he spawns, but the two that we're gonna be focusing on is the gymnasium and the laundromat, okay? So listen to me right now. We warped over to the school. At night, the school is locked from up front, so you have to take the back exit. Now, we're over here in the Springdale Gym. If you take a look at the bottom screen, if you look on the stage, there's no purple icon. There's no purple icon that shows a yokai there. So we didn't have to go all the way over there, we just exited out because we knew that he wasn't there for this particular spawn point. Now, of course, how do we change up the yokai spawns, you might ask? It's very simple. All you have to do is go to bed, right? Man, if you guys seen my tutorial on Grandpa, you know exactly how this works. So, he's going to be somewhere in the map. We don't know where he is, but there's a random chance that he'll be in the laundromat or a random chance he'll be in the gymnasium when we want him to. So in order to change that spot every single day within the game, we have to go to bed. So of course, you guys are gonna be rinsing and repeating this entire process until you find him, okay? So go to bed, wait until morning, refresh the cycle, and then warp over to the laundry mat. Check if he's there. If he's not there, warp back into Mirapo, go over to the school, check the gymnasium. If he's not there, go back to bed, rinse and repeat. You guys are gonna do this a couple times. You're not gonna get it on the first try. If you do, you're very lucky. Consider yourself lucky. Anyway, so that's exactly what we're gonna show you right now. We are right at the laundromat. We got lucky on this run right here. So right here, boom, we've got Snottle. Don't call me Snartle. But of course, Snottle is just hanging out over here and he is picking his nose. He's digging for gold. And of course, before pressing A on him, I know excited how excited you guys get. Don't do it, okay? Simply put, save your game. Save your game right before you see him because if you don't, you're gonna miss your opportunity and have to do the whole thing all over again. 
So save your game. If you guys know a little bit about befriending yokai, you know that you're gonna need a couple different yokai. You can use a Schmoopy, you can use a Cupistall, a Casanova, Pinky Poo, Dan Doodle, all five of those popularity yokai definitely help out. So here we are. I brought an Inspirator, which is Darkneon on board, but unfortunately, since I got Inspirited right now, that's not necessarily gonna help us out. So uh, while I'm cleansing Darkneon in the back, Shogunyan just takes him out because my Shogunyan's level 99, and this little Snoddle, he's probably around level 50, so he's gonna get rocked. So, here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We got a very own Snardle, which is very cool. So I'm super excited. Boom, that's one down. Snoddle, pick me. <laughs> All right, so there's Snoddle, of course. Now, alternatively, like I talked to you guys about, you can go inside the gym. Now, you can get as many Snoddles as you want. There's an infinite amount of them. You can get one every single day, every single play session. As you guys can see on the bottom screen here, that little purple icon shows that Snoddle is there. Now this is going to be the second Snoddle that we get. He's really good. He ranges anywhere from level 50 to level 52 and he's a very very good competitive yokai but more on that a little bit later so same concept if you guys find him in the gymnasium then awesome on you guys all you have to do is save beforehand bring your popularity yokai toss these snow pea snacks and then hope for the best if you have very very high level yokai they're probably going to ko him in one or two hits so just do your best with that and like I said, if you have an Inspirator Yokai that's at a low level, feel free to go that route. You don't necessarily have to use your endgame teammates. Of course you don't. So you guys can see right over here, Shogunyan just rips them apart. Oh my gosh, sorry, Snoddle. So we did that. Uh, we gave him the Snow Pea Snacks. We didn't have a Wisp that came on by with hearts. We didn't actually get to poke him for hearts. But he's a D rank, so he's a little bit easier to befriend. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Now, if you don't get him, feel free to press start and go back to title. Remember, you saved beforehand, so keep that in mind. So here we go, we got Snoddle on board. Snoddle, pick me. Pick me. Yeah, look at, he's just like, he's just going at it. Like, no joke, he's all in there. Anyway, uh, the secret nicknames for Snoddle are Schnoz, of course. We've got Beezer, Beezer? Honk, ah, that makes sense, Honk, and Hanky, like a, like a handkerchief. Okay, see, that makes sense. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we now have a Snoddle. I'm super excited. Boom, all gold medal, which is really awesome. And he's on the same page as um, our good friend, Jivanyan S. So this is all after the Oni Evolutions update. So of course, he's picking his nose and he flicks out a Mega x -Borb covered in his boogers. And we're pretty upset about that. Yuck. So he disappears and then now we're pretty much good to go. We're gonna wipe the boogers off the Mega x -Borb and totally use it to level him up. So let's take a look at him. We can take a look at his medallion entry because I know you guys are all curious as to what this nose-picking yokai is all about. Like, what's the deal? Have you ever met someone in school that's like really up in there? Snoddle doesn't need a reason to pick his nose. He's got two nostrils and he wants to know what's up there. <laughs> now, of course, uh, what's great about him is that his in spirits will always succeed. So his uh, Sultimate, is a confusion ultimate, which is the best ultimate out there, and they always attack. And not to mention he's a D rank, so if you guys are playing competitive yokai, you guys know that in competitive yokai you can't have all these S rank yokais. You can only use two S ranks, two A ranks, and the rest whatever. So he's a level 50 over here, his speed stat is outstanding, and he has the ability like wobble walk. I don't know if that means anything to you, but his in spirit always hits. And if you can get an in spirit on your opponent in Yokai Watch competitive battling, you are gonna be at an advantage, always. So anyway, uh, what we did right here is we did a quick cut. I put him on my team. We're gonna show you what his ultimate move looks like uh, so that you guys can be pretty impressed by it. So we're gonna run into these Hisfits and Pandals. Uh, we're right here, this is gonna be great. Snoddle with his finger is way up there. He just wants to know what's inside, right? So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Snoddle. Icky Picky. Snoddle. There you go, 100% in spirit. So he's gonna be really good when it comes to befriending Yokai. I might even uh, like replace Darknyan with a Snoddle. 
But anyway, yeah, he's really good for competitive battling. You guys found out exactly how to get him, where to get him, and of course, what his favorite food is. So the tutorial is complete, and of course, to end it off, we get your favorite yokai, Pandal. Pandal! Man, Pandal, get out of here, man. Nobody likes you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Uh, we did a very awesome tutorial for it. Thank you so much for watching. We got loads, and let me tell you, loads. We got loads of Yokai Watch 2 tutorials, and all that stuff is going to be transferable. So if you guys are getting Yokai Watch like expectors, definitely take a look at this playlist because all these things over here are going to be the exact same thing in that game. So watch the playlist of over 70 videos of tips and tricks on how to get certain yokai. You can check out the newest video on my channel and some recommendations that way. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're updated on the latest and greatest yokai watch content on YouTube today. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.